Hello. I don't know if this thing is recording. <coughs> but so what the deal is today is um we're going through my buy purchases um that I've got just sitting in the storage vault waiting for me to pick up because I think I've been getting pretty good at picking out good items to sell and I'm just gonna review it while recording it um, because I want uh, to share little bits of my process so um, here we are on the Bayi website um, fucking as per usual for me buying shit um, and we're gonna look at the first thing I have in storage well, not the first thing, but the first, the latest thing I received. And we're just going to check if it's fire. You know what? That's pretty fucking fire. That's pretty fucking fire. Look at that shit, bro. Wide leg fucking khaki fucking trousers. That goes hard as fuck. Junior Watanabe 2017. Pretty fucking recent, right? Fuck yeah, good fucking deal, $28. Take that every fucking day. It's just fucking good. Like, I'd pay up for it to, like, maybe, like, <clears throat> $45 for that. Good thing I got it at $30. I don't want to pay any more. <laughs> and this one, all right. $0.20, cents, all right, all right. Fair enough. It's a good-looking top. It's an all right-looking top. I'm going to cut you short, like... This is all right. It's 2003. You don't got anything 2003, so it's all right. Um, th I'm talking to myself. By the way, next one, moving on to these 2000s. Ooh. Ooh, look how sexy these are. Oh, my God. What the fuck is going on with these? These are 2000. Oh, my God. These are just perfect. 30 bucks. I'm glad. I don't, I, yeah, I just fucking wanted these, bro, like, oh my god, <laughs> as soon as they popped up, I had to have them, this is one of those things, you know, if it wasn't going to, like, it probably wasn't going to get relisted, so fair enough, alright, let's see, Miss Sony, ah, uh, just a black pencil skirt, you know what, fair enough, I'm fucking trans, I need that shit, bro, I need to look sexy, I need to feel sexy, Fair enough. Um, let's see. Um blue trousers. Oh, they evergreen though. Yo, for real, for real. I've been needing some evergreen. Like that shit. Like that. I'm pretty sure that line was only active for two years, and every time I see it, it's just jacked up super high. So I'm fine with getting that for thirty dollars. But you know, for a pair of trousers, I should be getting them for less. So I'd probably just be keeping those. Uh, next, we're looking at this polo. Ooh, she damn, this is fire! Holy fuck, dude! This wool and this acrylic blend, that wool and acrylic blend makes it so it's not fucking itchy. I fucking hope we'll see in person, because pure wool blends are just hell to wear. Um, and I'm hoping with this acrylic, it'll just be. A lot more comfortable um, because you know companies have been adding like a little bit of polyester and a little bit of um plastic material to their blends to make them more comfortable and I hope that Isabel Morant was doing that um, back in the day so fuck yeah for one fucking cent take that every fucking day bro I need that for work I need to wear black for work on the top so you know, that's uniform material, baby, that's, that's sick, and plus that, like, I don't know, that three quarters button down, oh, I could just button all that shit down and just wear it open, it'd be so fucking sexy, um, next time we are moving on to these Missoni Sport denims, um, I don't know, I've been, this cycle, I've been trying to get into Missoni, cause there's quite a bit of it on here, and it's all fucking dope, um, and, you know, thinking about it, I actually don't have a pair of just, like, 
deep blue jeans like this. I have a pair of pale blue jeans, but like, I, I, do, I just don't wear them that often. So maybe I'll have these to mix up the color palette on the bottom. You feel me? Um, wait, how much I get them for? Hold up. Fuck. Wait, hold up. Burp, burp, burp. Right, I got them for seven bucks. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Anything less than ten, I'm like pretty game for. Those jeans, anyway. All right. Ooh, this one's not looking good. Play Columbia Garcon sneakers. Oh shit! The, these are these might be fake. No, no they're real. Yeah, they're real. Uh. I think I got these because they're just so fucked. Um, I'm making a statement on how I... On just, like, the play CDGs, you know? Like, these are just old as fuck. And honestly, like, I'm gonna be real. I've been seeing so many play CDGs that I had to get one. <laughs> and for nine bucks, for this beat-ass pair... I mean, like, all right. Um, yeah, these are definitely going to be beaters for me. Um, definitely going to be, like, wearing them to work, not giving a fuck about these. Just um, wearing them when I don't have anything to wear. Just going to put something together and put these on on bottom. Um... Yeah, because I like them. I like their age because, you know, to me, old, like, the first iterations of, like, popular models say, like, oh, yeah, bro, like, I was on this shit before it was popular. I was basically, like, there, you know, when it popped off. So, like, you can't talk shit to me, all right, if you're wearing them because, like, I'm better than you, even if you were wearing it because, like, I was there before you. Get fucked. And I love that fashion gatekeeping aspect, so I'm just gonna wear these. TBH as beaters. Cause, you know, they're already fucking beaters. <laughs> Anyways. That's me rationalizing this shitty fucking purchase. Um, and then we move on to Eve Saint Laurent. Ah, oh, you look fucking fancy here. Fucking teacups with East Saint Laurent on them. God damn, for nine bucks. Let's fucking go. You know, sometimes you just need to flex. I'll be real, like shit like this. The best place to get um on Bai to get this sort of like weird flex shit isn't Supreme. It's fucking East Saint Laurent because they they just make all this random shit. And, um, all that random shit just ends up on fucking Bayi going for nothing. So, like, just pick that shit up right away for a quick flex. You feel me? Uh, moving on. These 103 Comme des Garçons. Oof! Y'all don't even know about this shit, bro. Y'all, y'all, I know y'all be hype about logo tees. And now it's moving into, like, shit. <laughs> I mean, I, I just know that logo tees are just, like, a fucking universal hype item from a brand. Like, it's going to sell no matter fucking what. And this is just fucking solid. It's just going to look good. It's just going to look good. So, people are going to look at me like, yo, you're swagged out right now. You're archival. And you know what? I am. Go fuck yourself. I'm way cooler. Than also, why am I paying fucking $66 for this? Suck my fat cock, Japan. I'm not paying that fucking much. I'm getting a consolidation. Right. Next item, the Robe de Chambres. Oh! It's Avant! 2000 Robe de Chambre. Comme des garçons. Yeah, I fucking love this shit. I love these logo tees, man. Um, cause you know, you know people want them. You fucking know people want them. <laughs> and 
next up we're moving on to with box oh shit. yo i fucking love these as soon as they popped up i fucking needed them i'm not even gonna lie like okay i have i basically have these shoes but an all white leather and i kind of have beaten them up which is unfortunate because they're pretty much dress suit shoes and with these i want to have a second chance you know i want to give it a second chance. and now i know it's 2002 fall winter so fuck yeah um my size two by the way 26 is relative to like an eight eight and a half in u.s sizing from japan if you want nine twenty seven um and that's what i know personally um if you are a size five you just go like three sizes down so that'd be like a 23 cm in japan if you're a size 11 that'd be like a 20 uh 29 or 28 maybe even a 30 you know you feel me Japanese people don't have big feet though, so you're probably not gonna find a bigger size than a 27. It's just gonna be harder to find 28s, 29s, and 30s in Japan. So moving on to the next item, We've got this Komikarsan score and decided by belt. See what it is. Paid eight bucks for it. Fair enough. Oh, it's just a black pencil skirt. I mean, all right. It's wool, you know. Fucking go off, I guess. Uh, mainline Comme des Garçons, that's a huge plus. 19, okay, that's why. It's fucking archive as shit. If this piece is in absolute good condition as pictured here, then it's worth fucking hundreds of dollars, man. Like, this goes in a museum. Um, that's just how I feel about old pieces. I'm being honest here. Because with older pieces, they've really, genuinely stood the test of time. Um, and I love that proof of concept over anything. So, yes, they're worth more. Right then, moving on, we got this The Viridian t-shirt. You know, I'm obsessed with the Viridian. I fucking love their shit. It's just too expensive for me. Um, ooh. Interesting. Interesting. It's just a fucking gray shirt. Honestly, like, you could have done better, Alex. But honestly, I know you only bought this because you had that fucking free shipping. You had that uh, discount coupon on fucking Rakuten. So, you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. It costs you like four dollars. <clears throat> Shit like this, like I don't really need, but like it's good to stay in the vibe, you know. Like I want to have all my basics be of the brands that I admire, so this is just a way to do that. Um. Let's see this Mihara Mas Yasuhiro. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, it's a denim jacket blazer. What the fuck? I know you're thinking like this is just fucking insane. It's also archive old ass Mihara Yasuhiro. You, it doesn't get any fucking better than this. I am telling you like old ass designer clothing with a contemporary flair that just means that that shit was ahead of its time and it's just gonna be fucking timeless genuinely this is genuinely timeless because it's so contemporary like um it's just like the denim jacket's already timeless and so is the blazer you just put those two together what the fuck do you get swag Roy, on to the next item. This thing will fucking load. 
My computer is just full of viruses, bro, so I don't even fucking sweat it. Um, next up, we got this thin undercover hoodie. I think that's actually the last item. Yeah, this is just... This has been in here for, like, a couple months now. They're, like, deciding whether or not they can ship it to me. And it's like, well, I don't really care. You're not really counting on the days. I'm not either. Um, but anyway, undercover thin blue hoodie. A hundred yen, ninety four cents. Fair enough. Kind of looks beat though. Um, you know, I'm praying it won't look as shitty as it does here. I'm hoping that the model just does it injustice. The mannequin does it injustice. Um, because undercover pieces look fucking sick. And plus, I want to see if I'm really a JP size one. Because I have a lot of pieces that are a JP size one from the Verdi Ann. But, um, like, am I an undercover size one? That's the real question. Uh, and, yeah. So, that is what is in my fucking storage. Let's look at what I'm about to receive. So, I recently um, consolidated a bunch of items, put them all in a package, and uh, got them shipped out, like, on the 7th. And it's been, like, a fucking week. I don't know what's fucking taking them so long. It should have been here by now, but, um, it's coming. It's definitely coming. Um, uh, you can just see here, got a leak spell, another one. I love them. Um, what is this? This fucking wool sweater? Who do you think you are buying wool sweaters in the summertime for $10? And it's meh. It's not even that fucking good. It's gonna kill your fucking neck. You know, I hope this is fucking worth it. I hope it's goddamn comfortable. You are taking a goddamn risk here with the 1998 fucking telling you it, not showing you the tags. You are a fucking rookie. Anyway, uh, let's look at this one. Let's just open this some new tabs. Dude, my computer is so fucking laggy. I hate it. I'ma kill someone. I swear to God. <coughs> oh, that's cute. Fifteen bucks. Fair enough. And uh, if I'm being real, like. I'm not even going to show you any more items, because if you guys want me to show you the other items, um, just comment down below if you do, because I'm honestly way too tired and way too fucking drunk to continue this. I'm probably just going to go to sleep, um, but I'm going to leave you on this note with an undercover size one. T. With a hand on it. I love hands. Fucking give me a hand job. Am I right? Um, yeah, just enough curve size one white tee. Um, for fucking five bucks. No fucking sweat. You know tea should only be worth five bucks. And this is the proper fucking way to get them. Anyways, this has been my Bahi haul. A look inside. I hope y'all have enjoyed and are considering buy ye as well because this shit is actually fucking crack. Um, you don't need cocaine. That shit is way too expensive. Fucking saving money is my cocaine. Um, like, fuck, fuck cocaine, bro. Fuck opiates. Those things are dangerous. See, this is like the the latest package that hasn't even come in yet, but I'll probably make a video on it when it comes in.
because I want to affirm it's a good shit. You feel me? Um, but yeah. Make sure you like and subscribe because I'm genuinely going to be posting on this channel. Um, just occasionally and when I feel like it. None of y'all can tell me when to post, where to post, any fuck shit like that. I'm just gonna do it whenever the fuck I feel like it, alright? So, like, it'll come when it comes. Fucking be patient. Be fucking impatient. Rapid consuming pieces of shit. I swear to God. Sit in a cave for 30 years and ask yourself who you are. <laughs> Alright. That's the video. I'm sobering up. Y'all have a great night. I'm about to knock the fuck out. And, uh... Peace.